Good evening. Here are some of the headlines to anticipate against tomorrow, 16th of January 2023. This is tomorrow's news today. Rising food costs push Nigeria's inflation rate to 28.9%. EFCC arrests Charles Ugu, an ex-minister, over 3.6 billion naira fraud. Tinubu saved democracy by not influencing Supreme Court's verdict on gubernatorial dispute, says Marafa. Tinubu, Akpabio, and Ari Wola attend 2024 Armed Forces Remembrance Day. Intensify courts to rescue five sisters in captivity, Remy Tinubu tells security agencies. Code of Conduct Bureau invites Tunji Ojo over alleged 438 million naira contract scam. Wiki directs security agencies to clamp down on streetlight vandals in Federal Capital Territory. Nine ex-commissioners who resigned from Fubara's cabinet invited for fresh screening. Abuse of female soldier by senior officers must be probed, says Women Affairs Minister. National Human Rights Commission says it received 752 rights abuse complaints in Play 2 2023. Lagos police foil extortion attempts and rescue stranded motorists. We move to business news. NNPC to outsource Portacot refinery to private firm. They've also started seeking applicants. Foreign airline threatening strike and seek quarterly payments of unrepatriated funds. And in technology news, Microsoft topples Apple to become global market capital leader. We move to international news. Lava spills from volcano into Iceland town, raising many homes. Trump seeks early victory as Iowa Kakos kick off Republican race. And lastly, in sports. Shaq Kane can beat Lewandowski's Bundesliga goal record, says Tuchel. Mancini laments lack of games for some players over Saudi splurge. Get details of this news and more on our website at guardian.ng or pick up a copy of our newspapers from your closest newsstands. Do not forget to follow us on social media at Guardian Nigeria across our social media pages. I am Lois Ogunei. Good night.